Welcome to Season 1, Episode 9 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's get into it. Oh, seen him. He was a new girl. Is there a problem? Jack Benson was a friend of mine. I'm so sorry. Uh, he, he was my friend. Because Jack's wife said it was your fault. That true? Never mind. I think I'm just gonna go somewhere else. Hey! I asked you a question. Stay away from me. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. You did that? No, I, I swear. I think you might have. Oh, shit. How are those on fire already? Not again. Whew, all right. Uh, I'm not okay with this. Any specifics? No. I am okay with that. Well, we should follow the same plan as before. Take separate routes back, stagger our timing so no one suspects. So they've... They've been doing this, huh? How long? How often? When was their last time? Besides this? So I'm, I'm not okay with well, this. Well, that needs a better name. Less I feel like he's cheating on her. Better? Something like the welcome wagon. Obviously, I know he's not, but it feels that way. It's not like I've never done this before. I found Mike Peterson before you did. Remember how that went? This is a chance to see how it's done when it's done right. I am glad I got a, an answer, though. I didn't think that we would. Particle accelerator explodes. Hannah Hutchins, one of the quality control engineers. Was it her fault? The town blames her. Four technicians died in that blast. Small church community, they're pretty rattled. She must be too. Friends, coworkers dead. And on top of all that, she might have some crazy power she can't understand. And everyone blames her for it? We'll determine the cause and see if there's any correlation between telekinesis spontaneously forming and a particle accelerator exploding. Okay. It does use giant magnets to fire billions of subatomic particles into their antiparticles at the speed of light to create miniature Big Bangs, so it seems like a good place to start. All right. I read. I'll try not to mention Big Bangs when we talk to Hudgens about the explosion. You'll stay in the car. This is a delicate situation. I'll make initial contact with Agents Warden May. It's a delicate situation, so you're bringing along warm and fuzzy? <laughs> but also... I'm not happy with either of you right now. You are two consenting adults, there's nothing wrong with it, but I still don't like it. You've come to lock me up. To talk. <sighs> Officers, get those people back. Oh shit. That freak just tried to kill hey, us! Calm down. Ms. Hutchins, please calm down. Me. Please calm down. We're not going to let anyone hurt you. Okay. So much for the welcome wagon. Yeah. Now she's really going to trust you. Damn. There's no principle that would support... Telekinesis. We did believe for a bit, though, remember? When Sally Weber made the books fall off the table in neurobiology. That was a particularly cruel prank. You know, that's the one drawback of graduating three years early. We never got to pull any freshman pranks on anyone else. Sky never went to the academy. She's a freshman. A wide-eyed little freshman. And being pranked is an integral part of becoming a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. The dendrotoxin's wearing off. She'll be awake soon. Scared. Terrified. I'll observe from out here. And I'll lose the tie. If she is telekinetic, I don't want to have a noose around my neck. 
Fair point. I promise you, Miss Hutchins, nobody was hurt back there. Wherever I go, things turn bad. Were you angry at those people back at the house? Um, angry? No. No. It seems like she does it when she's upset or scared or... These readings are entirely within average ranges. All I can tell from these brainwaves is she's upset. You need a computer for that? May's in there, the woman who shot her. <laughs> Sedated her. Well. May sorted it out. She's the cavalry. Where does that name come from anyway? You I don't know. I'll tell you. Of course not. It's quite a story. Yeah, well, Ward isn't exactly a chatty SO. Right? Well, imagine if you will. Is this going to be a prank? Bahrain, multiple S.H.I.E.L.D. agents are taken hostage. May's mission, eliminate the threat. You mean kill people? Entire squads of mercenaries. Almost a hundred. More than a hundred. More than a hundred <laughs> men. Her vehicle got totaled, so she rode in. And um, she had an M249 in each hand. In each hand. And she rode in on a horse. Hence the name. Is this real? No. She eliminated the enemy threat. No! You do not touch that! Oh. Two semesters minimum of holographic engineering oh, before right. you get to touch right. this! Uh, I get it! And then go to your stupid shield, Hogwarts. <laughs> Can you believe she bought that? A horse. Brilliant. That wasn't even a good prank. We believe that somehow, as a result of the accident, you acquired some form of telekinetic ability. You think it's me? You've been saying it to you. The guest? You think I did that? That's what you've been saying. It's not me. I wish it were, because then maybe I could make it stop. But if it's not you, then what is it? You people won't believe me. I guess she has been saying it's her fault. Which doesn't imply that she's the one that did it. God's punishing me. He doesn't protect me anymore. That's why this is happening. No. Protect you from what? Demons, sir. I'm being haunted by demons. Where are you getting this information from? <laughs> what makes you think that? If that tragedy gave her powers, we need to shut them down. If it wasn't her fault, even better. But until then, she's a danger to all of us. Uh, I was looking at that and I was just thinking it was like a reflection. She's not dangerous. She's nice, like overly nice. She Yeah. And someone with that much empathy being responsible for that much loss of life, she's devastated, spouting nonsense about God punishing her. People for believe what they need to believe to justify their actions. Is that how you justify your shoot first policy? She stays locked up and you stay away. Oh. Thought that was glued down. What is happening? She says I need to stay away, but you know what I think? I think she needs to get laid. Um. I'm not scared of her. Well, I am, but just because the cavalry shot a hundred guys on horseback doesn't mean she knows how people work. Wait. Horseback? It wasn't a hundred guys. It was twenty. Now, what did I do with that knife? Uh, that's not what we want to have go missing. <laughs> oh God! Please forgive me. Nobody's watching her. Tobias Ford. Yeah, and he filed three safety complaints in the past month, each one in Hannah's department. She thought he was a friend, but he had it out for her. Hmm. All I need now is a little bit of twine and an unsuspecting ah. victim. What is going on? It's as if the explosion tore open some sort of window. To, to hell. <gasps> Simmons, are you okay? Sir, Hannah's telling the truth. 
She's not telekinetic. There's someone else on this plane. What the fuck? The plane's lost power. We're going down. Oh, great. That's just what I want to see as someone who's terrified of being in a plane crash. What about her in the room? What's going to happen to her? Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, we're good. That was piece of cake. Don't look at each other like that. But I don't know how it sounds, but a man attacked me and then he disappeared. This man or whatever he is has been tormenting Ms. Hutchins. Well, I feel like it's Tobias, right? Wasn't it him? She thinks she's being punished. Can I please be the one to deliver the good news? That a non-corporeal madman is hunting her? Again, I think it'd be better coming from anyone else, really. <laughs> right? Ward, take a firearm. Escort Fitzsimmons downstairs, assess the damage, get us up and running. Wait. Where's Where Fitz? is Fitz? Hello? Can anybody hear me? He was in that closet and had no idea what happened. Did we crash? <laughs> yeah. Simmons? Come on, turn on the lights. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be unsettling at all. Oh. Fuck, ow. Ugh. We've lost electrical and are grounded. Calculating coordinates. Ah. Shit. Was that enough? Something bad is out here. Demons. I don't know what it is. I like how they're doing this. Colson needs help with the emergency transceiver. I would rather stay here for a while. It needs to get done, not discussed. That's an order. This is why she's my least favorite character. I realize there's layers to her, but... He thinks it's hell, but I think it's an alien world. Fitz, it was stunning. Well, there were reports in London. I yeah, it definitely looked like another planet. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Planes on uneven ground. Could just be settling. Or the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Get to work. Or, you know, the more terrifying option. Well, I mean, would shooting at him even do anything? No, it's not. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, no! Ah, fuck. Seems like a hardware issue. Yikes. No wonder she keeps screaming in there. You keep sending in the cavalry. You're bound to get a reaction don't, like don't that. Don't call her that. We were the welcome wagon, and it went south. A civilian girl and a few of our guys were... Stuck inside a building being held by the followers of this gifted individual. She took it upon herself to get them out. May used to be different. She was warm, pulling pranks. Thought rules were meant to be broken. Sound familiar? But when she walked down in that building, it was like that part of her was gone. That's why you want her on the plane. To see if that person is still in there somewhere. <laughs> Oh shit. The lock is jammed. Oh, okay. What is this deal? What is. Let me in. Or let her out. That's not up to us. Let her out! He's passing between worlds. It seems a little less of him is returning every time he appears. Oh, okay. That is creepy. Shit. 
she disappeared on him. Uh, oh, shit. What are you going to do? Fix the problem. Uh, what? I don't mean to scare you. I just need to use you as bait. Oh, great. And the fact is, a bullet will take you out of whatever world you're in. Any idea which direction May could have taken her? Nice! <laughs> they pranked themselves. Wait, childish. This guy is childish. Tobias? Is that you? Okay. I'm confused at the moment. What's being childish have to do with it? He didn't immediately attack her. Why would he file a complaint to her office when there was nothing wrong and then cause an actual safety issue himself? To spend time with her, think about it. He scared the guy who was harassing her at the gas station. He tried to hit you with a cop car. When we took her into custody. Okay. Interesting. Definitely didn't see that coming. Those are the golden retrievers, okay? Is she going to piece it together now after that? You have to stop. We believe you're trapped between two worlds. This world and... In hell. Sure. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. Oh, no. And even worse, everyone started blaming you. I, I tried to stop them. But you hurt more people. I was trying to protect you from them. You can't undo what's been done. But trying to hold on to this life... That's hell. If you care about her, and I know you do, let her go. Let the girl go, Tobias. Let the girl go. So her repeating let the girl go over and over makes me remember that Colson said there was a girl in the building. So is May saying that to herself? What did you say to him? Same words you said to me in Bahrain. I feel like it's weird that on this giant plane, that's what they get to sleep in? Like, that's their room? You know what makes people tick? Pun intended. <laughs> so do you. Yeah, for sure. I wanted you paying close attention to the index, asset evaluation, and intake process because someday you'll be really good at it. Even the best. Thanks. We actually gonna get a moment with her? <laughs> it's not funny. I was sleeping peacefully. <laughs> Very clever, Simmons. I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, well, Sky. <laughs> no. May did it. The bunks should be off limits. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh because I know it was one of you. Good. I'm glad we're getting more from this character. Finally. Only took nine episodes. Um. Yeah, I'm definitely glad we've gotten a lot more insight to her character. This was a, a big one for her specifically. And I mean, I, I just said in the last episode that she's my least favorite character. And it's because like I don't. So far, there hasn't been a whole lot likable about her other than that she's a badass. I mean, she's obviously fiercely loyal. She cares about her people and she shows up by taking care of them. But. You know, she's just not the most pleasant person to be around. Um, and so I'm I'm glad we're finally they're finally like showing us how complex she is so that's nice this story though is a little meh for me um i mean in theory i should like it because i'm a sucker for like sappy romance stuff but i don't know it just it didn't feel fully developed to me it was interesting like i was entertained it wasn't a bad episode it's just like we had a run of like really good episodes like back to back to back and then this one just feels like it's like 
just a little bit of a dip down compared to the past few episodes we've seen. So that and we started the episode off with me not being happy because apparently Ward and May have been sleeping together. Not a revelation I am happy to receive at all. I mean, it is what it is. I just, for how long? I want to be with Sky. And that's not, I mean, he can still be with Sky. Like, they can still be together. But, A, I just don't see any chemistry between the two of them whatsoever. She has way more chemistry with Coulson than she does with Ward. Like, that came so out of the blue that, like, what? So that's part of my problem with it. But also, I, I, I want him and Sky together. <laughs> um, uh, whatever. Again, it's fine. They can do whatever they want. I'm just not happy about it. Yeah, this definitely feels like a one-off. I mean, other than we obviously like had some, you know, we got confirmation that they were sleeping together, and we we got a little more information on May. But other than that, this feels like a one-off episode. So. It was fun. Worth a watch once, but no, not one I would. Well, I was going to say not one I would repeat watch. But we did get him in a towel coming out of the shower. So there might be part of this that I would rewatch. <laughs> uh, that was one bright light in this episode. Oh, God, I can't believe I cannot believe they have been sleeping together. It, and, you know, I think I would have even been okay had it been like a one-time thing after all this happened, which is totally what I thought it was at the end of the last episode. But no, this has apparently been happening because they have a protocol for it. But also, what kind of cracks me up is Sky saying that like, oh, she needs to get laid. Which kind of maybe implies that Ward's not quite doing his job. I feel like that wouldn't be the case if I had to guess. But I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't seem too relaxed. She still seems pretty uptight, which apparently is just her general personality. But anyway, I thought that was just kind of funny. Uh, yeah, so I think that's going to wrap up this one. <laughs> Are they going to keep up with this? I can't. I can't let this go. It's got to come to light, right? Like, is Sky going to find out and is she going to be jealous? And like, that's how she's going to realize how she feels. I, I need, I need drama and I need things to happen. Okay. All right. That is going to wrap up this one. If you're watching this on Patreon, thank you so, so much for the support. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to catch up with those on Patreon who got this episode a very, very long time ago, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below and heading over there. Also in the description, I will have the title of the most recent episode they received a full reaction for, so you can know exactly how far ahead they are. The full reactions on Patreon are in watch along style, so you do need to have your own copy of the episode to watch alongside my video. And by the time you're seeing this on YouTube, hopefully the YouTube versions are going out a week early over on Patreon. But the tier descriptions have everything very clearly spelled out, so make sure you read those before you sign up. Uh, and it will also outline any, like all of the other bonuses that come along with being a Patreon member as well, such as being able to vote in polls for movies and pilots that I react to, no matter what tier you're on. Um, and then as of the time that I'm recording this, we're doing like a monthly Zoom hangout where we all just get together and chat. Um, so just, just make sure you read the tier descriptions. <laughs> Uh, but if you want to hang out here on YouTube, that's totally cool. Just make sure you hit the subscribe and notification button so you don't miss the next episode when it goes out. And hopefully I will see you in that one.